I'm Jane Miller, and I'm a quilter. coffee cups. It's made out of scraps. I, I made the first one that was real cute for Daniel, my friend at the coffee shop a lot of years ago. And then I made one small wall hanging and I think Chris has it. Uh, Melanie's Chris. And then I had this piece and I didn't want to cut it so I just added to it. So I think there might be a few little scraps. I had a hard time finding a piece to put a tag on it, but I sure have utilized every bit that I had. Isn't that cute? And this one, this one's for Carrie. And I'm not sure what she's gonna do with it. <laughs> this is June the 17th. I'm going to be putting the quilts back on the bed after Carrie and Colleen and Mark have been here. So we're starting with Christmas. And this is a an hand applique Christmas quilt. And the next one is the uh, uh, chocolate. I love bunnies love chocolate. So that's an Easter one. So I think we're pretty safe in putting the Easter one on. And I need some help. So this is shingles too, Quill. Emily sent me this, keep me busy. Then I named it shingles too, cause I had the shingles when I was five and again when I was 70. So that's the one I did when I was 70. This one I dreamed about three, um, three nights of yellow and red and I went to the the uh, quilt shop in Wilmington and uh, bought all the reds and yellows that they had and came home and washed it and had them ready to go when Sandra called me and said that mother had fallen and broken her shoulder so it was quite a while before I had that done. I can't remember all the dates. They're written down somewhere. But it's, uh, Charlotte named it as Sunrise Sunset. It's a flower basket. I had made one of these and gave it to Terry and I loved it. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make another one. So I have to have all the wrinkles out of it. I like this fabric. This one is snail trail, and it goes this way. We put it up as high as we can get it. But I, I like this fabric too. I've got enough of both these fabrics. Probably we'll make another one. Okay, let's get some more. This is hand applique. And it's made just because I like red. Yeah. This is a, a form of the dress and plate. You can make all kinds of shapes and, and so on. And they're, they're all uh, dress and plates. This is a hand applique one. But this is... Uh, was a block of the month at a little shop up here, but I told her I couldn't handle the block of the month, so couldn't wait. So she sold me the whole thing. I had mine done in a very short time, and it took them months to finish theirs. This is Yo-Yo Bell. I love to do houses. Okay, let me get another one. I did the little yo-yos first. I sat in there and watched movies and made yo-yos and tossed them in a basket. And I thought, well, I probably have enough. 
but I had a few left over. I made more than 147, but it took 147 to do the quilt. But we put, I put them on for flowers and trees. I'd like to do another one of these. That, that was a lot of fun. This is one of my favorites too. This is, this is Jean and her Mary Janes. Yeah. Every year we got a new pair of black patent leather, leather Jane, uh, Mary Janes. I can still hear mother saying, don't scrape your toes, don't kick with your toes. And I kick pine cones all the time out here. I think that's why, because I was always told I couldn't kick anything. There's my picture on this side of it. This is tea time. I mean, this is kind of put it sideways. This was fun to make too, that's hand applique. This is uh, teapots, this is tea time. I like all those bright colors. That's beautiful. And this one, oh, these are aprons. And I've got wee little bitty clothespins, there's one that they're hanging on the clothesline. You can see the clothesline there. But there we go. This is another applique, but another house that's a love to do houses. I've got a big drawer full of fabric in there that's just labeled for houses. Emily sent me this too, and and uh, I called her about a week after I got it and told her I said I've got all I've made thirty roses. These are all hand. This all hand applique. And she said that was supposed to keep you busy all summer, but it didn't. This is a wall hanging I made that I think is really pretty. Don't know what I'll ever do with it. Uh, here's the way it goes. Wait, that's beautiful. I'll that take it. That? No. Okay. This is one. This one's hand quilted. I saw a picture of a quilt show on TV up north somewhere, and they had a park with quilts hanging off the whole of trees, and I saw this pattern, so I had to do it. And it's called Apple Time. See all the bananas and apples? The scraps. Totally scraps, everything's in the drawer. And I just started making these little pinwheels. I love to make pinwheels. It goes this way. And uh, I just started making pinwheels and laying them down. Didn't know what I was gonna do with it. But this, this is fabric, it's called Hannah. And I made that one quilt. The first quilt I made out of this fabric I gave to Emily. This is kind of scrappy too, but uh, I didn't know what, what I was going to do. I started making blocks. These are pinwheels. I like to make pinwheels, but it's two different patterns. You look, if you look at it like, like this, for this way angle, it's a square, it's an hourglass. But if you look at it this way, you see a pinwheel. Oh. Here's another scrappy one. And again, I didn't know what I was going to do till I started making them. And then when I didn't know what I was going to border it with, and I thought, well, I have some more fabric. So I just cut it in pieces and sewed it on. You're a good helper. I'm going to keep you. That's fine. That goes in that corner of the, the tag. What's the date on this tag? 2007. Huh? 2007. 2007. It's called Pumpkin. Pumpkin. This is a lot of hand apps. Oh, there's buttons and stuff on this one too. I hate sewing buttons. 
this is one that I was going to the Opryland Hotel to their big uh, this one, to their big uh, quilt show. And Emily treated me to two or three times and loved it. And uh, I had this quilt top made in one class I took. I took 12 classes and everybody laughed at me there because I was about, I think the only one took 12. But anyway, Emily told me to take all I wanted. So I did. But uh, I took that to a class that Helen Squires taught that is a quilter and she has books on quilt patterns and what kind of patterns should go with which quilt or whatever. So they told me how to quilt this. Of course, I forgot what they said by the time I went out the door. But uh, Irene has done most of my quilts. And she's fabulous. She moved from St. James to uh, uh, Delaware, but I shipped to Delaware. But everything she does is, is fabulous. This this fabric is when they uh, started, instead of using this plain colors, they started adding a little something else to the color. And I don't like just a plain color, but I love this. And I saw a piece of it, and it's called uh, blend, Blenders, I think. Anyway, when I saw it, I said, how, how many colors do you have? And she told me, and I said, well, I want some of all of it. And I brought it home, and this is what I did. Okay. This one, I, I, bought, I bought this fabric at a place called Nyra's in Tennessee in Franklin. And she's got the fabric stacked to the ceiling. But I bought these pieces, these squares, and then I bought all the fabrics that went with it. And I didn't know what to do with it. So what I did was just place them. And then uh, I think, I'm not sure I even quilted this one. But anyway, Sandra made uh, pillow shams and a bunch of pillows out of the fabrics. And I didn't have enough pink, so I put a piece of the other fabric down there. This, this one's kind of, kind of big. I usually keep a yardstick in here and I use that to get my wrinkles out when I'm by myself. This one's hand quilted too. This is the one that I had in the quilt frame when Jimmy died and it took me a long time to get back to it. So it was 90 and 91. This one's been in a lot of quilt shows. But it's a combination of uh, uh, Grandmother's fan and Jacob's lap thing. No, it's grandmother's fan, that's all. Wait a minute. I don't think that's right. Hang on. And Jacob's letter, yeah. That's in the middle of it. But I really like this one. Like I said, it's been in a lot of shows. There was a woman who was a teacher that went to the show and she fussed for years. Every time she'd see me, she'd get mad because I didn't win something, but I always tell them not to judge them because I know what's wrong with them. And when they judge, everything has to be so perfect. And the God can make anything perfect, so you can have a mistake, uh, which is called a religious mistake. So you can leave one even if it's obvious, but most time I didn't. I did one for for George and Myra Speak, a minister that left here, and he loved it because I was telling him about the uh, about the uh, religious mistake. So when Betty Harrelson and I took it up to Manny O'Toole, and he said, "Where's the religious mistake?" I didn't tell him I didn't remember. I just told him he had to find it himself, and that's been a lot of years ago. I don't know whether he's ever found it or not. This has got 
custom houses on it too. Oh. This is all hand applique. As you can see, that's 2006. I've been, oh my, I've been wanting to do another. Yeah. This is a dress and play. I like this one. Yeah, I made blocks and filled in, patched the, the lining. I like to do that. I think, I think this is what one Carrie said the last time she saw it, she liked it. <laughs> this is a log cabin. It's called the wavy, wavy log cabin. That's why it's, it's uh, different. Put together, you can put them any way you want to. Beats putting them in a straight line. It gives them a little different look. This is, after it's pieced, you hand applique all these big round flowers. I like that, I like those colors. I've got a lot more of this fabric in there. I've got enough fabric in there to make all kinds of quilts. It's so much fabric, so little time. This is fabric that in November, I saw an advertisement coming soon. Well, don't tell me that unless it's coming within a few weeks. Waited a year, still hadn't come. Sandra called the factory. I think it was up New York or somewhere. I wanted to know about the fabric. And there was only three places in the country that had bought all 17 pieces and they gave her the addresses. And I can't remember which place I ordered it from, but I had all 17 pieces of fabric and I didn't know what to do. So I put three different sizes and after I got them all made, then I decided what to do with them. But I've got enough of this fabric to make another one. I think this is right. I like this one too. These are all hand applique. Ooh, where's, yeah, these are little yo-yos here in the middle. Those are fun to make. Got a flannel quilt. I went to Emily's one year and she had made one. It's upside down. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I loved it. So she threw, threw her scrap basket over in the pattern and said, get busy. So I made me one while well, I was hooked. I had to have it, have it all, but I love these Santas. She made hers and she made, uh, had note cards, Christmas cards, you know, made off the patterns. I still have a few of those cards. They were too pretty to send them all. Here's another scrappy one. It, it goes the other way, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, I like all this fabric too. I didn't know what to do with that, so I just started, made the middle and just kept waiting around and adding to it. This one's just a very simple. Block. Those are made with the uh, with the ten inch squares that you can buy packages. There's forty two squares. I made twelve or thirteen this year with COVID. And this is this is COVID uh, COVID one, I think. But this one 
has two hearts in it, but you have to look for them. Yeah, no, it's got four hearts. It's got four hearts, but you have to really look. Can you see them, Carrie? Do you see any hearts? And it's got pinwheels there. If you look, there's one oh, there, I see. Oh, one yeah. there, one there, one there. See this heart? Yeah. There. And it's called hearts. This one in 94, I think it was, the year I was the next president of Pilot Club for the first time. And I went to San Antonio to the International Convention and I was so excited I couldn't sleep and I got up about 11 o'clock or 12 and put this together. And uh, when was that? Yeah, 94. And this is another COVID quilt. Okay. I think that's all that goes on the bed. There's quilts all over the house. And I've got two in there that are ready to um, put the binding on. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs>